So today I'm working on camshaft solenoid actuator sensor VBT. Truck was throwing P0019. Um, tried replacing the camshaft position sensor exhaust bank too. Uh, didn't fix the issue. Um, so now I'm on to replacing this. Brought it to the Chevy dealer. They said it's either that or the timing chain. So I'm hoping it's this. Uh, anyways, so 0019 Bank 2 Exhaust is this one. They also said I got 0017 in there. That's Bank 1 Exhaust, which is this one. There's four of them. Exhausts both have the stock exhaust and the intake. They all have the same part number. I'm just going to replace the exhaust for now, see what that does, since that's the accurate code. Um, GM also recommends replacing the gaskets since these do go directly in the engine. You don't want to leak any oil. There's the box, the part numbers for reference if you want. Anyways, I took the cover off. I did that in another video if you want to go back and try to find it on my page. And I also went ahead and I took these two clips off. It's pretty simple. This is just the GM red clip. You push this back, a little pinch, and pop it off. I also kind of tore this. Oops. Uh, unclipped this and then unclipped this from here and unclipped it from there so I can lift this up a little bit better without completely shredding it. Let's see. Now, it gives me access to the 10 millimeter bolt. It's right here. Uh, it's pretty loose. It doesn't take a lot to loosen it. So I went ahead and did that. I'll take this out and I'll be back with you shortly. Now to get the bolt off, I just use a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Just makes it simpler to get in there. A couple, couple good uh, screws and it comes right off. Pull this out. Get the bolt. There go. I should mention also, I don't know that everybody does this, but I find it's best practice to remove that negative battery terminal cable. If anything, it helps you restart the engine once you put it on, put in these new parts. Okay, so here's our part. Do you see quite a bit of oil and stuff around the edge? So maybe this is kind of our issue. Let's see how we get this thing out. All right, sorry about that. I got it out. Took a little bit of twisting, really. But in the end, the twisting just breaks the seal. Just give her a good tug she'll come out that's what we're looking at here maybe that's our issue let's find out put the new one on I'm gonna replace that gasket as well this is the gasket right here it'll just come off you need to use a screwdriver or something to help pry it off just be careful not to scratch any of the aluminum. Uh, let me pull that out and get the new one in. Be right back with you. All right, so getting the gasket out. What I ended up doing, it was actually pretty simple. I was making it more difficult than it was. Pop my screwdriver in here and use my leverage off of this one to pry it right on out. You should replace it. The new one, you're gonna get some clean engine oil and get it wet around the ring so it, with the new oil so it uh, slides in and helps seal it up a little bit better. I'll work on that. I'll make sure you put the new one in the right direction. Well, here's the new one versus the old one. I don't know, it doesn't look that much different. This one definitely needed a new seal. You can tell by the oil right there. Probably put a little bit of oil on the shaft of this right here. Just again to help with that seal. Otherwise, it should be pretty simple. Just slide it in, get that bolt back in. Well, here we go. The new one just slid right in as easy as you please. Uh oh, tag flew out. There's my bolt. Put that back in. Now, keep in mind. This is all aluminum, so you don't want to torque it down too tight. I'll see if I can't find the torque specifications for it, and I'll leave it in the comments of this video. Right now, I'm just trying to get this one done. Here we 
go. It's in. I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna put everything back together. Put this back down. Reattach here. Reattach this. Just slide back into there. This might just slide back into there. And then this. Click, click. If you wanted this to help with the lifting of this cover, uh, make sure you put that back in. Anyways, that should be it. Let's hope for the best. And then we'll go to the other side. All right, there we go. Everything is buttoned back up. I also forgot to mention I undid this guy right here. It's the same line that you use to unhook the uh, intake cover. But that just slides right back into position. And click. And there you go. Now we're done with this side. All right, now let's work on bank two. This one should satisfy exhaust P0019. First things first, this throttle body is in your way. You're not gonna be able to get to the bolt back in here without removing it. It's four 10 millimeters, pretty simple. Uh, went ahead and loosened them with the wrench. Just gonna unscrew those and the whole throttle body should just slide right out of the way. Removing that was almost too easy. GM wanted to charge me, or the Chevy dealer wanted to charge me four hours work to do this. I don't know if that means they're supposed to take this whole thing off, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. That guy, and I'm just gonna take it right off. Should be easy peasy. Oops, oops if you have it the right way. Same thing, take that off, unclip this, pull it out should be easy to do that and replace the gasket and the sensor uh, I'll go ahead and do all that and be right back with you. you know I hate when people make you try to figure out how you got it out on your own my solution was I took my ratcheting wrench slid it underneath this line right here and then push it as far back this way and then boom came right on loose the rest of it's gonna be finger tight or finger loose so I'll just go in use my hands for the rest pull it right out See? there you go all right so i got your classic bloody knuckle ripping this thing out myself there's such tight clearance right here it takes some finagling so what i kind of did was i rotated it so that the sorry so that this was pointing in kind of pull it forward because there's a little bit of wiggle room in there and bam she comes out for you I'm bleeding right now. Probably gonna have to go get a band-aid. I busted it up here, taking it off. But hey, save me 900 bucks. I'm okay with it. All right, the new one is in. Pardon the lawn mowing. Background, this is my neighbor. Same thing, replace the gasket. Clean up the area around here. Make sure you get oil on all of it. Uh, you had to finagle it again, but that's all right. Got my band-aids. <sighs> Installation, reverse of removal. So they say, so you're gonna find your clip. Seem to have lost, misplaced mine. Oh well, I'll find it. Get it back on. This guy, same thing. Four bolts. You don't wanna over tighten it again. It's all aluminum. You don't want a double thread. You don't want it strip any of your threads so i'll get that on there put it all together start her up and maybe i won't get a code we will see all right there she is ready to go clips are in throttle body now when they do this job gm recommends that you change the oil at least the chevy dealership did and everything that i've read has said the same i changed the oil put the negative terminal back on I'm gonna start her up. The engine light's been very intermittent, so uh, we'll see. I'll give you an update. If this doesn't work, then it's gonna be the timing chains, and that I'll probably defer to the experts. Thanks for watching.